Hello YouTube. Here we are with my Windows 8 computer again. And it turns out that there is more than one option for a uh for a start menu in Windows 8. Uh the the last one I showed you was called Classic Shell. And that one was all right. It it didn't look that great, but it got the job done just fine. Well, there is a there's a better one I actually found. Uh it, if you guys are interested in it being more accurate to the Windows 7 look and feel, uh this one you're going to like. And that's why. Look at it. It just plain old looks like the start menu. Now, this product is called Stardock Start 8. Which is, I, I don't know if it's an open source project or not, I don't think it is, but it is a much more elegant looking uh, start menu for Windows 8. Start 8, bringing back the Windows start menu. Now you can get this at uh, stardock.com slash product slash start 8. That's the, the number 8. Now here's a description. Windows 8 is now available in preview and release editions and has taken the Windows interface to a whole new level. Unfortunately, Windows 8 did not come with a desktop feature that the world makes use of billions of times a day, the Start Menu. Luckily, we have a solution. Start 8 brings the Start Menu back to Windows 8. You can try the Start 8 beta for free by clicking the download button below. So, it's in beta right now, which means it, it's good enough to work, so I don't see any problem in using it. Uh, here are the features of this particular product. Windows 7 style start menu with Windows 8 enhancements. Users can search for Windows 8 Metro style apps with it. Users can pin desktop and Metro apps. Full support for jump lists. Unified search. Users can boot directly to the Windows 8 desktop. Or you can... Yeah. Wait, yeah. That's, that's what, the, uh, that's what um, Classic Shell did. You can just boot to the, straight to the desktop instead of straight to the Metro interface menu. Uh, I, I, that's probably... There's probably an ability to turn that off, but I don't know yet. Automatically matches color to the color of the taskbar. The start met, the start button is now skinnable. It optionally disables the desktop hotspots, which are, you know, if you, uh, let's say you want to get to the charms menu, you drag your mouse up here, and it brings you to the charms menu. Those are the hotspots. Uh, what else? The Windows 8 start screen becomes accessible from the start menu. It's like when you pin stuff to the start menu in 7, it'll show up up top. And it adds an option for the Windows key to show full screen Metro desktop. The start menu size is also fully configurable. So this one is a little bit more... This one's a little bit more elegant and looks better, I think. Just look at it. It looks, it looks like the Windows 7 menu. Not exactly, exactly, but all the options are there. I mean, look at it. It's pretty much exactly the way it was. Let's search for Notepad. There it is. Yeah, this acts exactly like the Windows uh, 7 menu did. You can click all programs, and there all your programs are. And it still has the look of the new Windows Explorer, which is not that bad. And all your Metro apps are also in there. This is a much nicer-looking solution made by Stardoct, in my opinion. And uh, I wonder if there's a way to change settings with it. That's my question. Uh, I don't, this is beta, so I'm not too sure about that. It doesn't look like it's really, uh, there's got to be a way to mess around with it. I probably have to right-click on it or something. Yep. So these are some options you get by right-clicking on it. On login, go to the desktop, use the classic style start menu. Disable the Windows 8 desktop hotspots and pick a different start button image. So you can make the start button image anything you want, similar to the uh, the KDE button in uh, KDE on Linux. About start 8. Okay, so it's uh, beta 0 0.90, so it's a pretty late beta, it looks like. Uh, there you go. That's just another option for uh, a start menu in Windows 8 and this is the one I would probably use just because it, it functions exactly the way the Windows 7 one does just in case you want the start menu back and the funny thing about this um, I was watching Chris Perillo uh, his video on installing Windows 8 on a VIO which didn't work out so we put it on a touch smart PC instead and that worked fl worked beautifully um, he was mentioning that Samsung is actually including their own start menu 
with um, some of their Windows 8 computers. So I see a new type of software emerging where each manufacturer will bring its own sort of uh, start menu. And when you buy, when you've bought computers in the past, I'm sure some of you have bought Dells and had that stupid looking dock up top, um, the, and you know other. You know, other manufacturers that put their own little bits of an interface into Windows. Well, now they can specialize in a start menu, which is it kind of it's kind of a stopgap measure if you ask me for things like that. Uh, personally, I think this is fine because I mean, look at it; it's exactly the way it used to be, so it'd be fine. Uh, and of course, you can go back to the Windows 8 menu there if you're just clicking that, and there you go. You can get to your Metro stuff in there so it's not even a problem anyhow so this looks like a growing trend I bet there's gonna be a bunch of different options for start menus in Windows 8 similar to desktop environments in Linux and how you have different options for that especially uh, KDE in Linux where you can change the start menu button uh, this this seems more more of a this seems like a software that will be quite in demand once um, Windows 8 comes out. Uh, it, it just reminds me a lot of KDE, the way you can mess around with the start menu, um, for whatever reason. Anyhow, that's just another option. It's called Start 8. And start, it's made by Stardock. So, if you guys don't like Classic Shell, which admittedly is a little bit... Bleh, it, it, it's good enough to get the job done, but it doesn't look the best. This looks great, and gets the job done better than Classic Shell does. So this is just another and yet another way to make Windows 8 a little bit more usable for people who prefer the classic interface. Anyhow, I just thought I'd show you that, guys, and uh, have a good one, everybody. Ciao.